Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the 28th. So, this reading is not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We're just going to do a daily reading, and whatever comes up, comes up. Let go and let God. What is God? I know a lot of people don't believe in God. That's fine. I do. I don't believe in the biblical God. I believe in a higher power such as God. But you could consider God a father, perhaps. A father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So this reading has something to do with a father. It could be a father that abandoned you or a father that you have lost or a father that you need to cherish because someday you will lose them. has to do with a father's love and I chose this deck what I did I didn't know what deck I was going to use I got a hundred of them okay whatever I don't even know how many I got so I was looking around looking around and I, at first I had the other deck that I used for the Libra reading that is downloading right now and I was going to use that and then I picked up this deck and I was looking at it and I picked a card out of the middle to see if it was the deck that I was going to use Y'all know who I am. <laughs> I chose the Queen of Pentacles. Right out of the middle of the deck. So that gave me that clear indication that this was the deck to use. Considering this is who I am. So... What do we have? What do we have? Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. Two of Pentacles reversed. There's going to be some upheaval. Oh, come on now. Oh, God, this is grieving, sadness. Four 
of Cups reverse. This is seizing an opportunity. This is seizing an opportunity. It's like God. extends this opportunity for love and somebody takes the opportunity they see the uh, the option there's multiple options here and we have a choice we have a complex decision here this is grieving over a loss this is upheaval now what goes around comes around Things have been turned, or something, something may be turned upside down, which causes some sort of sadness, grievance, regrets. Now, this could be regretting. <laughs> there could be a father that regrets choosing, making the wrong choice, choosing things over love, choosing. <laughs> Making wrong decisions, put it that way. The Emperor Reverse. Now that is the father. <laughs> okay. All right. I got my arms spread wide open sitting back in my chair. I mean, like, open like I'm surrendering to God here. <laughs> oh, my God. So this is the Emperor. The Emperor is a father that is losing his focus losing his concentration this emperor in reverse has made poor decisions based on ego this emperor didn't take his fatherly skills or his fatherly responsibilities as seriously as he should he should have and he probably has regrets for making the decisions, the poor decisions that he has made. Now this is losing focus, losing concentration. Imbalanced. Losing balance. The lovers. There we go. Now this is an unexpected opportunity for love. Perfect love. And now I'm doing the daily like this. Whatever. I gotta go with what I got. Princess of Cups different spread. I usually do it with the five and the five. I guess I'm not going to do that. Whatever happens, happens. This is somebody shutting down emotionally. Somebody didn't put, didn't make the right decision to give their, to love. It's like now they want to seize an opportunity. The tower. God damn, I might be sick. Um, the tower. Oh my god. I keep saying, oh my god, too. Um, three of pentacles reversed. No teamwork. Not putting in effort. Can't can't work together. Somebody has been avoiding disaster. Of trying to avoid upheaval. You know, this is a false sense of security. And it feels like some. this is a necessary evil. Something needs to be removed. Or somebody, you know, may have built a false foundation based on ego and pride. And maybe it's about to crumble. What the hell is this? But right here, right now. Right now, this is the right now position. Right now, there's an expected on an opportunity to heal because this is love heals the lover's card. There's an unexpected. 
there's an unexpected opportunity to heal. We have somebody here that this is a lack of energy. They may, and people can't work together. It's like there's somebody is giving up on, you know, working, trying to get people to work together, whatever. Star card reversed. Of course, I should have just said that out loud. Anyhow, this is this is uh, losing hope. Giving up. Oh, God. So we, this is giving up. This is giving up. Um, the star. Healing. There's an opportunity. It's like giving up to heal. Giving up the fight to heal. We have somebody here that is losing faith. Um, we have somebody here that is feeling really discouraged over, you know, the false sense of security and the false foundation that they built. And then we have somebody here that is grieving over their poor decisions to choose something more seductive to them when they should have chosen a better option. So we have somebody here that is really regretting their... They're regretting choosing their ego over true love. You know, and true love... True love is more than just children. It's... it's goes way beyond that but anyway anyway I feel like we 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 have somebody here that um, is about because this is in the, this is in the future right around the corner somebody's about to make a different choice they're they're in the process we have somebody here that is in the process of making a another choice they're looking at their options and they they're they're probably feeling like they're, they're, they could be they could be feeling very emotional we have we we have somebody here that is shutting down their feelings for a loveless situation because they it's like they 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 see or they feel the consequences because it's a card of consequences for giving up on their true love whatever their true love was so, I know that's a complex message it is complex but anyway we have somebody here that is right now or they are about to choose another option. They're thinking about what they're going to choose. Presently, they're really, really seeing another opportunity to heal. Somebody has been reluctant to move on. Somebody has been staying in a troubled situation. Maybe for fear of rejection or fear of disaster, or fear of upheaval. Somebody has been reluctant to bring peace to a situation, lack of faith, self-doubt. Somebody has been, and they've been getting probably angrier with each passing day, and grieving, and having more regrets, and feeling more and more guilty with each passing day, not moving forward. So we have somebody here that is really... I'm surprised we don't have the Three of Swords suffering. Suffering. But there's an opera this is an unexpected opportunity for love. This is a decision, a choice. So somebody's in the process of choosing between 
two situations. Do I stay here or do I go after the one I love? Or the one that I am meant to be with? I mean, that is, is a choice, an unexpected choice in love. So right now, somebody is facing, and this is an unexpected choice or a choice. Somebody is facing, or they're in the process of making a choice. And this is seizing an opportunity. Four of Cups reversed. Letting go. Time to look forward. I'm interested. I'm interested in this perfect opportunity. So somebody may be seeing a perfect opportunity to, I don't know. Take action. This is the King of Wands takes action. Now this could be the end of a legacy. Ten of Pentacles reversed. That's the end of a legacy. Somebody's dealing with an Aries. Unfortunately, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but um, we have this is this this is a this is a financial loss as well. Somebody could be moving out of the home or something like that. Um, we have this guy that is really thinking. We have, and I think it's a masculine with the Emperor and this King of Wands. We have a masculine here. And yes, I'm going to confirm that. This is a masculine. Okay? We have a masculine here that is thinking hard and deep. This masculine is really, 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 really thinking. Thinking about his decisions, thinking about his family, thinking about seizing an opportunity that it's like the time is ripe. Because when I drew the Queen of Pentacles and I looked at my card, I saw all the abundance and I saw the harvest and I saw the ripeness. And I looked at it myself and I said, it's the time is ripe. But it's, it's right now. It's harvest time. It's time. I said that to myself. It's time. Whatever it's time for, I, God, please tell me. So anyway, we have this masculine that, and it could doesn't have to be an Aries. Whoever this man is, he's dominant. He is wise. He has a lot of life experience. He is noble. And in his heart of hearts, he really wants to do the right thing. But this man does have a big ego. He does have a lot of pride. And society really affects this man. This man is governed by society. He's governed by what his friends think. He's governed by what is governed by what his neighbors think. He's governed by society. And that is what has caused him to suffer the consequences of The consequences are No reciprocation in love. People may have lost respect. Maybe his family has lost respect. Or the one he loves has lost respect for him. He has lost respect in the long run. For This is loss of respect. From the people he really, 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 really cares about. Because society governed him. But anyhow, he is now in the process of choosing a little bit more wisely this time. Because he's thinking long and hard about seizing a new opportunity that looks absolutely beautiful and perfect to him. It's like the time is now. Now is the opportunity to seize it. So I feel as though we have a masculine that is probably about to move in a new direction. Or 
What is he going to do? What is he going to do? He's leaving. He's He is. Eight of Cups. He's going to go after his wish fulfillment. He hasn't been happy where he's at. He hasn't gotten the wish. His wishes were not fulfilled. Now he's going after it. He's going after that Nine of Cups. I'm going. He's leaving the emotional disappointment behind. So that's what it looks like to me. Whoop. We got a car just fell on the ground. You know what it is? Oh, we got two of them. Let me see if I can bring the camera down there. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, there's my cigarettes. You probably don't want to see those. That's, that's, you're going to see the mess. Just because that's the kind of person I am. It's used, Nobody goes in this room but me, so that's the way it goes. Anyway, there they are. Can you see them? There they are. Those are the cards that fell. <laughs> My camera's like, what the heck are you doing? So, now that it's all loose. There they are. One is the strength card, upright, and the other is the chariot, reversed. Now we're back over here. We're just going to zoom this in. I put them down on the end. So what is he going to do? He's going to find his strength to gracefully handle this situation. Now, the infinity is... That's endless. Time and space has no end. Endless energy. Now, the infinity sign is also a card of consequences, and it's right here. Because what goes around comes around, what goes around comes around, right? Now, this is like, this could be, I mean, this is, you could, this is endless, this is forever. Love is forever. And that is, isn't that what this says? Let's read this again. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or past, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. <laughs> Somebody's father that has passed away, this just came to me, Maybe guiding them. Maybe guiding them. Yes. Guiding them to choose more wisely. Don't make the same mistakes that I made. Go after the love that you seek. Do not let society choose your path. Do not let anybody else get in the way of your heart's desire. Do not make the same mistakes. Somebody is finding the strength to put the brakes on a situation that has no more victory and success. And that's what we got. Choose love. Good luck.